Hi everyone, I'm Max and I'm fixing deep woods. Still, still on it. Last time I, um, I was able to, to build the mod again and to test the mod in game and see all the beautiful things that were broken. And this time we wanna, um, you know, go right back to where we left off and try to figure out why the map isn't shown. Um, there are two things that we can look into. One um, was the fact that the update map method was like called again and again and again and again while I was in a deep woods level, but not in other levels. So that's that's a good indicator where I can try to figure out why is that happening or where is that coming from? You know, what's what what is the game doing? What does it want and what does it not get from my mod? And the other thing was there was an exception actually thrown when I was doing something interactive. I forgot what, like maybe I used my sword in the map or maybe I tried to pick up something, but something threw an exception and I should look into that more. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do today. So let's dive in. First of all, I'm just going to see where we are. So I'm going to start uh, the mod. By the way, I, I updated all my other mods, so there's no more problems. And also the, um, you know, skip intro and fast animations um, works now. Um, which means things are much quicker. Okay, so here we are. Let's just warp us straight into deep woods. Um, uh, where's the thing? There's the thing. Okay. So, and yeah, we, we can see we have this, like every frame it's calling update map. So the clear, the, the game clearly wants something to happen, which doesn't happen. Because if I go into this house, Right, it just stops. So it's happy when it's loading a map file. Um, but, and I think, see, there's now a bunch of update maps that we posted now. And I think last time when I saw this, I thought this was happening in this map, but I don't think that's the case. I think this will happen again in around a minute. Let's just wait a bit. Um, So this happened at 48, 41 seconds. We are now at 49, 10. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat sure that we will just get a whole bunch of these again. Forty-nine, thirty. I might be wrong, I don't know. Oh, maybe I should actually, yeah, I have to open the game window because otherwise the game is paused. But yeah, there we go. It happened again. Um, yes, something makes noise. Something makes like bloom. Uh, what do you want? This. I shouldn't hear it because I don't have my headphones on. I don't know. Um, and I think this this happens when the forest gets shuffled. We can check like the in-game time. Oh, it's happening every 10 minutes. Every 10 in-game minutes. Yeah. So every time the time updates in-game. Yeah. Interesting. See, these are clues that we can use to try to figure out what's going on. Um, and now it's happening every frame. So while I'm inside the level, it's happening every frame. And we have these fantastic arrow screens again. Yeah, when I use my sword, I'm getting exceptions. So I get the exceptions also here when I let's just use my sword in empty space. No, I do not. So it's probably some kind of interaction. I think it's when I'm interacting one of those invalid objects here that gives me 
Yeah, I'm gonna... Right, so when I... Okay, so the exception comes. You know, all that red text that's spamming over there. When I interact with one of these warning symbols. That is also a good clue. But let's try to figure out why update map, map gets called. So I'm gonna end this here. Um, update map. Right. So what I'm going to do, we have lock, no, we don't have lock exception. Um, I'm just gonna try catch. Um, and then I'm gonna log. So, uh, can I actually just create an exception and it will have a stack trace? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to try that first. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure if that's, if that works. We'll see. We will see. If this works, we will see what is calling update map. And then we can look into that code and see what's happening there. Um, move the test map. No, it's not working. Yeah. Move into deep woods and yeah, no. Yeah, you can see like the where the stack trace should be. It's, it's just empty. Stack trace is just empty text. Um, So yeah, I, I want to figure out how I how I can create a proper exception right now. I'm just going to do something that create that makes the virtual machine create an exception that I can then use. Um, so uh, let's just say is null, and then um, there we go. That should that should cause an exception and not a reference exception. So trying to access a string that's no, so it doesn't really exist. Or maybe I can just throw one, you know, and like just throw new exception. Maybe the throw, com probably the throw command is what creates the stack trace. Yeah, well, that it doesn't matter, you know, really. whatever works, works. Yeah, there we go. So update map was called in the constructor. That's fine. And now it's being called. Wait. Is it not? Where is the stack trace? Huh. It's only showing us the line where we are. Like we already know where we are. We want to know where we came from. That was confusing. Didn't? Let's go straight up here. So much stuff in the in the log. Uh, okay, yeah, this isn't working. Um, let me start again. Did, didn't the did, did I look wrong? Didn't the 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 first thing give me a proper stack trace? No, it didn't. I looked wrong. <sighs> it's 
not getting its spec rays. Well, that is disappointing because that was kind of what I was relying on. I want to know why update map is called, like where it's called from. Gets a string representation of the immediate frames on the call stack. A string is the immediate frames of the call stack rate. Hmm. That is confusing. No. Peculiar. Very, very peculiar. Look, like if we we interact with our sword with one of those objects, Boop. ah, oh god, this is too much stuff. Maybe I should disable the update map spam message before I do this. So when I interact with this, uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where are you? No, that's that's useless. Okay, I'm gonna disable. I'm gonna disable this. I'm gonna disable all of this and this and this and this. Everything gone. Okay, I just wanna uh, see uh, and show because um, I just invented the word she, which is uh, see and show at the same time. Um, If we get a proper stack trace with a sword. We do. See, this is what I this is what I mean. We we have the exception that happens. Another reference exception, and then we have like you know it's happening here, and then here, and here, and here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So you can see exactly which method is called by which method. Object reference not set to an instance, probably because this thing is invalid. When this when the thought is doing something, perform tool action. Things happening on player instance updating and the game update, farmer update, farmer sprite animate once, short sword swipe, melee weapon do damage, do do do. That's how you know, like, okay, what's happening. So, why do we not get this proper stack trace? Yeah, I mean, the difference here is that this is locked by, uh, by the modding API. Actually, I'm not sure, how is, how is this pronounced? Is it SM API? Is it SMAPI? Is it SMAPI? Is it SMAPI? Is it SMAPI? Like how how is these Tadio modding API? Like how how is SMAPI? How is that actually pronounced? Like with my German friends, we just say SMAPI because you know it's how you read it with like 
German brain, I guess. <laughs> But like, what's the what's the English way? How you like? How would you read this in English? Snapey, Snapey, Snapey eye. I don't know. Um, then I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw the exception straight out and see how Snapey eye deals with it. Let's see. Maybe we get a stack trace now. Yes, we do. Interent interestingly, now we do get a stack trace. Wait, what? Take off warp depots, warping to depots, max off. Of course, no. Now the. Now the, 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 the map doesn't exist at all, so I can't warp into it. Hmm. Oh, that is annoying. <laughs> uh, I want to get the stack trace not here later, uh, but I can't get to later because when I throw here, um, it's already broken. So I need to, I need to do something. Um, I need to do something else. Right, I'm calling it in the constructor, right? Yeah. Then how about I just don't? You know what? How about I just don't? I'm not calling it at all. Now it gets only called by the game itself. Oh, wow. That, that looks... Terrible. Okay, now update map. Gets called every frame. Even when we're here. How peculiar. I was called by like by the automate mod. Okay. Other mods are never a good idea. Um, this is why I always say if you have any kind of like issue that you need to um, report, um, remove other mods. I guess I should listen to my own advice because now my log console thingy is being spammed by the automate mod. While I'm trying to debug something. Ah, that isn't helpful. That is not helpful. Okay, we're back. Uh, I removed every mod that I think I don't need. Uh, I mean, some of them are important for, you know, debugging, um, like, you know, skip intro fast animations so that things just go fast. Um, the console commands mod so I can warp to where I want to go and, you know, stuff like that. Um, Okay, let's just let's just see where we're at now. Um, okay, let's load my test save. Okay. 
Okay, so essentially, yeah, we got no exception right now, which means that it was the automate mod that caused an exception. But oh, now we got one. Um, and that is, oh yeah, because of the 10 minute clock update. Okay, so update, 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 update game clock, perform 10 minute update. Game location, perform 10 minute update, tickets update map. So perform 10 minute update calls update map. Okay. Um, do we have game location open? No, we do not. Uh, there we go, game location. Somewhere here, it's calling update map. Apparently not. That's confusing. Wait. Okay. Let's go back to uh, the form to minute. Right. Does it say where it does that? Perform turnaround update in line 14,143. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, but the line numbers don't match. We have 15,234. That's because this is the compiled code. So the actual line numbers don't match the line numbers that we see. So that doesn't help, but ah, but it does. Yeah, just it, it does call update map straight from here. Um, but there was nothing that would call it here. That is really peculiar. So there's probably some kind of like compiler optimization going on that calls something in this like 10 minute update method and that calls update map. So we don't see it directly. Hmm, what could it be? Furniture, there's no furniture in the level. There's also no characters in the, in the first deep woods level. So pass time for objects. It is outdoors. Create exception equals currently Since that does not happen. Average minutes between times. Fish splash point is also not relevant. Hmm, no. It's like a very specific, okay, and the name equals saloon. So this doesn't happen because we're not in the saloon. We're not in the current location. We don't have furniture, we don't have characters, so none of this. So it could be this, or it could be anything in here. It's, uh, oh, there, there, map. It creates a random object with the time of day and the map layer with. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Anyways, okay, so it accesses map and I think, yes, map calls update map. Fair enough, and then it returns the map. Update map. If map path dirty, I'll reload map. I see. 
and reload the map. So actually, when we do this, map has already been created. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock this. Remove the exception. Still really just tapping in the dark here. Reference not set to an easy of an object. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, stop. Nope. 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 What on earth? Can I? Okay. Well, the command worked. I just had to. I entered. Um, debug warp farm to make the exception stop um, and thought it wasn't working but I have to go back to the game window for it to work. Okay let's see what we have here. This mod failed in the update ticked event. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Indeed the software creator is tile free. That is my code in line 880. Debug stuff creator line 880. Keyboards map, object layer, buildings, tiles. Something here is null. Either the map, like the, the actual game location, or the map. Or the layers. But. In add stuff, clear and add stuff, fill level in the constructor, living data and if necessary, create and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Why do we get this now? This is new. Interesting. Warped player. We're getting this is also interesting. Before set owner was called. So every frame player warped is called. That makes no sense. We're not warping every frame. We warp once and then we're there.
what's happening here? <laughs> I feel like this is more broken than it was, and I don't understand why. I mean, the only thing I changed is at this. And that shouldn't cause that. Can we reproduce this? this. That's fascinating. Well, I can also not walk in the level. I was able to walk here before. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Am I still not... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm still not calling update map in... Um, okay, done. Yes, that makes sense then. That makes sense then. But this also means that the map does exist because we now saw, we now saw the behavior if the map didn't exist. So it's there, it's just invisible. Okay. The question is why? So when we create a map, and create these layers. Maybe, we, maybe I should check um, what layers maps have. I think, I think that would be a reasonable thing to do. Um, does this ever get, have we ever seen create empty map in the code? Wait, now I'm curious. Because if that doesn't get called, then something else is the issue. And there is no map empty. No, but I can't. Okay. Let's just check. Place time, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. What was that actually? What have I done here? There, create empty map. Create empty map, build, play style. Oh, that's the that's the that's the map generation code. I see. So yeah, it's it is definitely being called. some reason. Really peculiar. Oh. Okay, so the place tiles are hiding it, but we, we are calling create empty map. Okay. We are calling create empty map. I'm just going to go into the mod entry code. That's like the first thing that gets called when the mod is loaded. Mm. Oh, where's my mod entry? Where's my mod entry? Mm. There, entry. And, oh no, wait, entry gets, gets called right in the beginning when we're just in the menu. Uh, save loaded, day start, time changed. We're gonna go into on day started. And then, I am, oh, how, wait, how does that work again? Is that game one, uh, current game location or something? Or current location, current location, map. Um, 
and then tile sheets. Okay, so I wanna I wanna know what um, tile sheets we have in a standard map. Um, and I wanna know the layers that we have. first because then we can inline and stuff. Um, what is it what I wanted? So we have ID and the other thing was image source, right? Yeah, image source and log level error for visibility. And then Uses lowercase, so we don't use the um, property, which is weird. Why? Why is the field public when we have a property? Um, whatever. Uh, is there anything else that we want? ID layouts, properties, no description. So we have the tile sheets, we have the layers, we have the ID. Yeah, nope, that's it. So, and then in Deep Woods, once we have on the map, we log the exact same thing, but with our map. And then we can compare that and we can see is there a difference. So we have tile sheet indoor, untitled tile sheet for the linear player back, buildings and front. And the map name is untitled. And that's it. Okay. Join. There we go. We have back, buildings, front, past, always front. Yes, no. Reason why this shouldn't work. If I go outside, ah, it's not logging at all, of course, because I only did this at the start of the day.
I wonder if maybe it's unable to load the tile sheets. Maybe everything is working, maybe the map is totally fine. And the problem is the tile sheets and we can't load them. Um, we could test that by just using one of these tile sheets that already exist. Doesn't matter which one, it will look wrong, doesn't matter. If we see something, then that is the issue. Um, so, tile sheet. Yeah, we're adding these tile sheets here. So maybe. Um, I'm going here. How do we? Oh, God. I mean, if I just add that, that doesn't work because this timesheet references the, um, the other map, which is something that I also don't understand. Why does the timesheet reference the map? The map should just reference the timesheet method. Um, oh, well. Right, like it. it it might just be this, it might just struggle with this. Is that, is that possible? Is that the issue? Hmm. Um, right, I'm gonna out comment these. And then I'm just gonna do this. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. Nope. I mean, other tiles there. They, they are, see, like I'm running against something here. So the tiles are there. They are just not visible. Like these are like the, the borders where you have like the, the green tree. You know, uh, the tree tops, the leaves. So the tiles are there. Oops, I did not need to do that. But they are not shown. Oh, and that wall works. Ah, <gasps> that wall works too. Look at that. I, I can go between those. It's just that now I'm stuck here. So interesting. <sighs> I 
Let's look again how the game um, loads the map. Oh, that's not what I meant. Uh, reload map. Load map. Update seasonal tile sheets. Haven't done yet. Post tile sheets. Doesn't he like it? Does the exact same thing that I also do. Map tiles. That's what I do also. Hmm. And also the fact that it, it it's still, you know, every frame it's calling update map. I already forgot about that, but like, that's the that's the first thing I wanted to look into. That has to have a reason. That doesn't happen in other game locations. It doesn't happen with maps that have been loaded from file. Something calls update map for some reason. Or is it just, why am I wrong? No, like update maps called here. I mean, it shouldn't matter. But I feel like that maybe it does. Or was that just because of one of the other mods? Does that not happen anymore? Wait. No, it does, it does call it every time. No, we're not seeing why. But you know, now that we have this extra thing, this map exists, that doesn't get called from the constructor. So I think here we can now safely throw an exception so that we know from where it's called. Um, let's do that. Um, Nope, is that not what I wrote? Oh, map exists. Ah, there it is. Okay. Um, string drop. Oh. Drop, set string. There we go. This should now create us an exception that tells us what's calling this. And then maybe we can finally figure out why. And let's hope for the rest.
are running diva command warp default social hands inside update map that's the problem when we try to warp into the map it calls this okay you know what i'm, I'm just going to do something like really hacky i'm just going to check the time of the in-game day and i'm going to start throwing after 7 a.m um if game one time of day it's an int oh so it's then 710 i'm just going to assume that it works like this we will see and in order for me not to poke in the dark i'm just going to log out the time of day so we can be very sure that that's actually right what I mean here. Yes, that looks correct. So now we should get a bunch of 600s and then a bunch of 610s and maybe I should have picked 620 and not 700 <laughs> but hey uh whatever ah oh, god that's it's a bit of time to meditate for a few seconds I'm really curious what we see now I have no idea what we will see and have no idea if it will be helpful. There we go. The game crashed when drawing and Smarty was unable to recover the game. Oh, look at that. Drawing. Go to the first one. Unfair update, update, update. Game plus. So well, that's the ten-minute update. Draw, draw world. Game one, draw world. Update map. Aha. That is good. Oh, that's fantastic. So this doesn't explain anything. <laughs> but, but. We now know where it draws the map. Game one, draw world. So utility for update, update location, for each location, update when current location. Okay. So this is all the same frame here, 57. Oh no, right, the frames are faster than seconds, so no, it's it's just the same second. Uh, I wish this had like a frame counter additionally, uh, that would be helpful. Um, update locations for each location. Is it possible that it just... Just the same as in now? No, no, it could, it's back to update when current location. Up, draw world, update map. Update when current location. Draw world, update map. Okay, so update when current location calls update map and draw world calls update map. These are the two. Update when current location and draw world. And it seems that when we are in other levels, it doesn't call update when current location and it doesn't, or like it, it, I mean, it calls update when current location, but update when current location doesn't call update map uh, when we are in other locations. And then the same is true with draw world. Okay, let's look into this. Um, So game one, draw world, and game location, update when current location. These are the two, and then we're going to end this. 
Okay, uh, let's look at game location update when current location first. It just calls update map, but why does oh <laughs> of course. It does call update map every frame in all the other game locations. All the other game locations aren't deep woods locations and we're not seeing it in the log because it's only the deep woods location that lock this method. Oh God, I fear. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Let's just go into game one um, draw world. Because I think this might be where we can find out why. Um, why the map isn't drawn. Okay. Current location, draw background. Current location, background rules. Draw mortar, draw floor decorations. Current location, farmers, shut out characters. Building layers. Map. Interesting. Um. Hmm. I don't think it's drawing the map here. It's only using the map um, buildings layer for like some kind of crap pot stuff here. Map display device begin scene. Map display device. What is a map display device? Okay, it's just the display device. Map display device. Current location front layers. Is it possible? that in order to draw the map, the, the layers have to be here? And what are these front layers that we have here? In, look, background layers, building layers, front layers, always front layers. Background layers clear, sort layers. Oh, front layers. No, it's clearing them. And then it adds them to this dictionary. And then it goes through map layers. I think we have to call this sort layers which is called in load map. Apply map override, sort layers. Oh, I think this is it. I think it's not drawing the map anymore. It's actually, it's getting the stuff from the map and putting it into these layers. For whatever reason, I do not know. So update map. Sort layers. Should be it. Um, yeah, this should be like that. I'm gonna remove this. I'm a little bit optimistic now. I might be too optimistic. Let's see. Game crashed last time. Also, 
Yeah, right. Uh, That is not black. <laughs> oh, this is. I think I, I. I still. I still replaced the layers, right? I think I fixed it. I think I generally fixed it. Um, that looks fantastic. <laughs> that looks absolutely fantastic. I love it. I should. I should make like a 1st of April version, where it's just like on the 1st of April, this is what it looks like. I'm so, I'm so happy right now. Like it was such an easy fix, but you know, you just have to figure out what's going on. And the, the game doesn't render the map directly anymore. It renders these, like it, it takes the, all these tiles, all the layers from the map and puts them into its own structure that is stored in the game location. And my code didn't do that. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna end the video on this. Uh, I'm really happy. Uh, I am 99.99% sure that if I just undo the code that switches out the tile sheets, it will look normal. Um, if that's the case, you will find out next video where I will figure out what these red things are and how to fix them. Oh, this is a relief. I was really, I was so stuck. I was tapping and like, I was like, what is going on? I did not understand it. Um, this makes sense. This, this makes total sense. The game renders differently now and it, it creates a copy of the map tiles, layers, whatever. Maybe it's a performance thing. You know, may, maybe the structure that's stored in the game location is is more optimized. Um, I don't know. Ah, oh, this is, I'm happy. I'm happy, I hope you're happy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, all my links are down below. If you wanna support what I'm doing, it's much appreciated. If you wanna hang out with my community, I have a lovely Discord. Otherwise, have a fantastic, lovely day. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.